one of the things I could see um, being again at the back of people's heads is this all sounds really good when times are going well, you know, when there's money coming in and you go, oh, yeah, let's let's become an ethical company. But when times get hard and a company's struggling, how do they find the space to think, put the time into to to fund uh, maintaining an ethical stance when, you know, their their counterpart, uh, their competitor is um, knocking at their door uh, and undercutting them because they say, we, we don't care about this. We're going to commodify our customers in the short term uh, because we know it'll put our our competitors out of business and then no matter how ethical they are if they're not around you know we're with the dominant player how, how do you kind of balance that off because it's you know it's hard to um it, despite the lack of trust in amazon it's you know they do a good job right they're very efficient and effective business so it can be hard to, to compete with that and, and maintain the moral high ground yeah well i think times have always been hard <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I think this idea that now, yes, of course, there are moments of attention to the difficulties and, and mm-hmm. very rightly so justified. But, you know, there's, there's always a constant crisis of value and, and mm-hmm. there's always a constant crisis of differentiation um, that might have different, uh, can maybe accentuated by macro pictures, but there's always, that was, that's always, pres- always present. Mm-hmm. Um, so. And if you look, for example, at at the Amazon, particular example of Amazon, you know, they always got that recognition to provide a very good customer service. Mm -hmm. Now, the definition that they anchored of what a good customer service is, is that of efficiencies. Right. Mm -hmm. Within that definition, there is no space for sustainability. Within that definition, Mm -hmm. there is no space for relationship, relationships for respecting vendors, you know for respecting the customer, uh, for a whole set of aspects that define sustainability, you know, from moral value all the way to ethics and everything in between. So that notion of business effectiveness is is in, in and mapped and being applied in a moment of crisis, uh, I think is missing the point that crisis is constant and uh, we might shorten our runway and our opportunities if we only look in terms of efficiencies and maximizing a development cycle. Uh, if you look, for example, at uh, the moments or the periods for a company where things go easy and you know they have a higher demand uh, and they can you know cope with their offer, uh, overall you always have the same pattern. There is this idea that you have bandwidth to do the right thing, to be sustainable, to be ethical. But when the situation reverses and there is less demand and higher offer, you know, Mm -hmm. the differentiation and the relationship remains for those entities, those companies or brands that have anchored that trust element. So, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's there's two ideas. First of all, crisis is always there, you know, it's a constant. And, And of course, you can have moments of accentuation, but it's a constant. And... Uh, I believe that the harder the crisis, the more important that the relationships are, you know, internally and, and externally. Uh, 